stamping friends and welcome back. Sandy McIver here. Hope you're having a great week. Today I'm going to share how I like to color terracotta pots. I'm working with the Hero Arts Hang In There combo set. It's uh, dies and stamps combined and they're lovely little house plants and uh, great little sentiments that go along with it. And I started by stamping my images in black ink and there's two to choose from and both are Copic friendly. The colors I'm using today are E01, E13, and E17, and I like to start my Copic coloring, for this type of anyway, uh, by flooding the whole area with the lightest color. And a little note, we're going to be layering the ink, so you don't want to get right up to the outside exterior lines because by the time we get to the third level, that's going to push the ink outside of your lines and cause some bleeding. So just kind of sneak up to that black line. And so here's my second color I'm adding. And notice that I'm leaving a spot for kind of the sunshine to be shining on the right-hand side of the pot. Now I'm adding shadows with the third one, which is the E17. And I'm just going to bring that part way over. And I'm going to come back with the middle color, the E13, and do some blending with it. And then you'll see I'll come back with the E01 and blend the entire thing together. And this darkens my sunspot on the right-hand side, but it also helps to blend all the colors together for me. And sometimes it blends a little bit too much, so I have to go back over with one of the darker colors. And you'll see me doing that there. I'm also going to do the leaves and show you how I shade them. Uh, this is kind of a lime greeny color or a lighter green, so I'm using YG03, YG17, and YG67. And again, I start with the lightest color, and I'm going to color a bunch of the leaves. And I do this in sections because I want to keep the ink wet while I'm doing my layering because it helps it just kind of falls down into the previous color and in some cases blends itself. So there's the light color. Now I'm going to come in with the medium, which is the 94, and do some shading. And you'll see that I'm going on the left side because I've got uh, my light, my sunshine is shining on the pot over on the right side. And so I'm going to carry that through with my leaves. And now I'm adding just a little bit of the darkest green. And then I'm going to come back again with the light color and I'm going to blend that in again. And I don't want to blend it too much because I don't want to darken my leaves. So my shadows are kind of all over on the left side or down the bottom because the leaf has curled. And so then go to the right hand side and finish the second set of leaves. Again, coloring the entire thing in. You're, it's called flooding. You're flooding the whole area. And then you're going to come back with a darker color and just add some highlights or shadows. And again, I'm staying on the left hand side of the leaves because that's where I think the shadow is going to be. And sometimes at the top and the bottom just because of the way they're curled. And a couple, oh, this time I didn't use the darker color because I'm on the lighter side of the plant pot. So I'm just blending in with the light green. So there you go, three simple colors for each. And then there's a die to cut this lovely thing out. On to the next one, I'm using the same colors for the terracotta. This time I'm going to use the flicking technique a little bit and you'll see that I'm flicking the color across Flooding with my light, coming back with my medium, flicking again, or maybe a slow flick. And it's kind of, I want the grain to go sideways on it because we've got the terracotta coming down the middle. I also wanted to show you that you can use the flicking technique for this particular coloring as well. So I'm adding my little dark spots and then I'm coming back in and I'm blending with my lightest color. And again, my sunshine is kind of, my little white spot for the sunshine is over on the right hand side. You'll see that it blends out a little bit light. So I'm gonna come back in with my medium and add some of that. And then a little bit of my dark again. And then I'm going to blend it back in again. So you can just fuss with it a little bit until you get exactly the shade that you're looking for. And I think I'm pretty happy with that one. For the turquoise portion on the plant pot, I'm using BG45, BG53, and BG57. Again, I'm flooding with a light color and working my way across, and then I'm going to come back in with the medium and the dark and just add some shadows in there. And that's just kind of a little bit. 
and this is still wet and you'll notice that I hardly have to do any blending on this at all because it kind of falls right into the wet color that's already underneath of it. So that's kind of cool when you're working in small sections. And learning to do Copics, I found it easier to color small images before the big ones. For the leaves on this one, I went a little bit to the mossy side, so you'll see that I'm using G21, G94, and G99, and I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm flooding with the light color, adding a little bit of medium, a little bit of dark, and blending it back in with the medium. That's kind of my standard way of coloring for small images, and uh, I really like these three shades with the terracotta pot with a little bit of turquoise in it, and I also like it when it's sitting on the card uh, with the lovely turquoise um, stenciled background. And you can check out my blog. I have free PDF downloads for both of these cards. So you get all the dimensions uh, of the paper to cut out, which paper I used for the projects, which stamp sets I used for the projects, and stencils of course. Um, I use the life-changing brushes for the background. Those are lovely to work with. And it's a really, really simple card. And it's just kind of, uh, it's sympathy is the uh, challenge over at a blog named Hero, and that's what these particular projects are for. And you see I'm just working my way around, coloring in these little guys as I go. And there's a die to cut out that one as well. So check the link underneath my video here, and there is a link to my blog. Gives you a description of all of the products that I use and the PDF files. And if you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that a lot. And until next time, toodles!